find the zeros of the following functions. For question A, f of x is equal to x minus 1. So the zeros of this function is when f of x is equal to 0. So we are looking for the value of x when f of x is equal to 0. Meaning that x minus 1 is equal to 0. So when x minus 1 is equal to 0, when you add plus 1 to both sides, this one cancel out this, you have x to be equal to 1. So this is the value of x. This is, this is the value of x when this function is equal to 0. So find the zeros of the function. So the zeros of the function is the zeros of the function is f of 1. Now, for this, for b, you have f of x equal to x plus 1 over to power 2. So, the zeros of, of this function is when f of x is equal to 0. So, at the point where f of x is equal to 0 is at x plus 1 all squared equal to 0. Taking the square root of both sides, you will be left with x plus 1. The square root of 0 is still 0. So if you add if you add minus one to both sides, this will cancel out this. You are left with x equal to minus one. So f of minus one is is the zeros of this function. So this function is zero at this at x equal to minus one. So for c we have f of x equal to x square minus x minus 6. So the zeros of this is when x, f of x is equal to 0. That means x square minus x minus 6 is equal to 0. So I will use factorization method to solve this. I'll multiply the first term with the last term. I will. So x square times minus 6. The product is minus 6x squared. So what are the factors of minus 6x squared? When you sum them, you have minus x here. So let's start with... we start with x and minus 6x, which is a... Which is, these are functions. So if you sum them, you have minus 5x. Now the next one I will use to... plus 2x and minus 3x this will give you minus x if you sum them up so this solves the issue so now i will use these two factors to replace this minus x so x square plus 2x minus 3x so i've replaced this minus x with plus 2x minus 3x now I'll, fact, I'll factorize these two things. What is the common factor here of this and this? The common factor there is x. So x divided x square, you have x. x divided plus 2x, you have plus 2. What is the common factors here? You have minus 3 as a common factor. If you divide minus 3, if you divide minus 3x with minus 3, you have x. If we divide minus 6 by minus 3, you have plus 2. Now, if you look at this, you see that you have a common factor here. And the common factor is x plus 2, x plus 2, so all brackets. So if you divide this whole, the first term with x plus 2, you have x here. If you divide the second term with x plus 2, you have minus 3. Now that means x 
plus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 so now for this one if you add minus 2 to both sides this will cancel out this you have x you are left with x is equal to minus 2 or if you add plus 3 to both sides of this other part of the equation you have this will cancel out this plus 3 here yeah, sorry this will cancel out this you have x equal to 3 equal to 3 so that means the zeros of this function is minus 2 f of minus 2 and f of 3 these are the zeros of that function then the next one you have g you have x minus 1 all divided by x plus 2 so what are the zeros of this the zeros of this is when this is equal to 0 so at the point where this is equal to 0 is at a point where this minus this is equal to zero and this plus this is not equal to zero so that means at the point where this is equal to zero now if you say x minus one is equal to zero if you add add plus one to both side to both the left hand the left hand side and the right hand side this will cancel out this you have x is equal to 1 so f of uh, g of uh, 1 is 0 so this the, the zeros of this function is at x equal to 1 now the next question is e this is question d you have f of x equal to x square plus 2x minus 15 all over x square minus 1 so so the zeros of of this function is at the point where f of x is equal to zero is the value of x where f of x is equal to zero so the value of x where f of x is equal to zero is at the point where x square plus 2x minus 15 is equal to zero while x square minus 1 is not equal to zero now you solve this for you solve this so now you have x square plus 2x minus 15 equal to 0 so this is an equation you need to find the root of this equation the root of this equation is the value of x where this this function is zero so to do this we multiply this first term with this last term so with the third term which other what we are going to do is x square times minus 15 will give you minus 15 x square so what are the factors of minus 15 x square that when you sum them you give you plus 2x so the, let's start with one you have x you have plus x and minus 15x so this one will give you minus 14x if you sum them up then the next one is 2 cannot divide 15 so what can divide 15 now is 3 so I will, I will now say plus 3x and minus 5x so when you sum this you give you minus 2x so but we are looking for plus 2x so we we'll reverse this or reverse the sign you have minus 3x and 
plus 5x so this will give you plus 2x so this is the solution we're looking for now <coughs> we'll use this minus 3x and plus 5x as a factor of this to replace this so now to replace plus 2x so x square minus 3x plus 5x minus 15 is equal to zero so this one replaces plus 2x now what are the factors what is the common factors of this and this so the common factor there is x use x to divide if x squared divided by x you have x x uh, minus 3x divided by x you have minus 3 what is the factor of plus 5x and minus 5 what is common factor the common factor there is plus 5 now if you divide plus 5x by 5 you have x if you divide minus 15 with plus 5 you have minus 3 now when you look at it you see that this value is common so when you factor them out so if you use plus if you use minus um, x minus 3 divide this first term you have x if you use it to divide the second term you have plus 5 equal to 0 now that means x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x plus 5 is equal to 0 so you have for this for this one if you add plus 3 to both sides this will cancel and things you have you are left with x is equal to 3 or if you add minus 5 to both sides this will cancel at this you have x is equal to minus 5 now that means f of 3 and f of minus 5 is the zeros of that function so so here will end now if you have any other any other thing you wanted me to do outside this you can you can state it on the comment section thank you for watching to the end